Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about how you can hook up an arcade style joystick and arcade style buttons to a Raspberry Pi single board computer, but this can be done to a Odroid single board computer or any other single board computer as well. And you could also do this for any and for your PC. Uh, if you have if you're using MAME or something or Linux even if it has MAME or even Apple if it has MAME in it and um, it's just basically a USB uh, joystick but it it simplifies the process because you could just connect um, everything all the buttons and the joystick into this USB uh, board circuit board and you could um, c just simply just connect it to your computer and use it just like any other USB joystick and um, the thing about using a USB gamepad is um, you really can't make an arcade um, cabinet with it with a USB gamepad it's just um, it's not authentic but but if you with, with this thing you could make an arcade cabinet with it and you could just simply put the motherboard of a um, a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi or you could even put the motherboard of let's say a, a Pentium 4 or something as, as long as it has MAME in it or some other uh, emulator you could you could put it into an arcade style cabinet which is a good thing about it and it's very very simple to use all you need is a USB um, this connector here which interfaces with the computer is a I think it's USB A to USB B uh, connector the USB 2.0 USB A to B connector basically so this connects to the computer from here but I'll show you on the next diagram but right now I'm just going to show you how you can just connect all the buttons and the joystick arcade style joystick to this board is quite simple it just goes in just one way it comes with these connectors and you just connect this to your um, board from your joystick so this is an arcade style joystick and you just connect this to the joystick as well it's both ways double ended so it goes in here your joystick and it goes right here to this part of the board so this is for the five pin joystick slot right here and um, these are for all the buttons so you could put 12 interface buttons in here so buttons have different functions that one of the buttons could be used for the coin um, another button could be used for start um, another button could be used for like an action button like shooting or jumping or whatever this is shooting jumping uh, other special attack or whatever and you could just keep connecting it like that so this connection is uh, from your joystick and it just connects to this part right here basically any of these basically you just put it in and that's basically it you just connect it simple as that you don't have to solder anything you don't have to do anything special but uh, there is a more complicated part on the top of it if you want to um, use this for something like if you want to get uh, more detailed you could use this part right here so this is for the joystick so it's the same thing as in the bottom except you have to plug it in individually and um, if you use it you have to use a power supply like a 5 volt but on the bottom part in here you don't have to use that it's just quite simple so we're just going to keep it simple today and um, for this video so um, yeah all you have to do is plug in for buttons it just plugs in here for the joystick it just plugs in here and it comes with two of these boards to connect two of two joysticks and uh, it comes with eight buttons for each board basically
not eight, I'm sorry, there's more than eight, ten, so there's um, here also six, ten, six, ten, so ten buttons. So I guess you could label these things, you could say this is a coin button, this is a start button, and you have all these action buttons, so some um, arcade or arcade games or maybe if you want to put a Super Nintendo emulator on this with and put it into an arcade cabinet uh, definitely a Super Nintendo has um, I think it has up to eight buttons I think for a Super NES so you could definitely use all the buttons if you have something if you're using it for different types of emulators so uh, which is a good thing you're not just limited to three buttons like on a JAMA board or something so let's go to the next uh, slide so uh, after you connect all the buttons and everything um, you could just put it into an arcade board you can make an arcade board if you have like carpentry skills, if you know how to like um, work with wood, you could just build your own panel and just stick it all in there, the buttons and everything, the joystick, and basically you'd have a arcade cabinet. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4, and like I showed you the board before, um, all you have to do is you have to connect this. Uh, the USB, uh, I think this is the B side, into the board with the controls on it, and then you connect it into your Raspberry Pi or a computer. This could be a computer as well. It doesn't have to be a, a single board computer. It could be a, it could be just a regular computer. So it doesn't really matter. So today I'm not talking about um, amplifiers or anything for the sound, but. Um, I will make a video about uh, how you could put an amplifier for a um, for a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi 4. So obviously, um, this if you're using RetroPie or something, or basically this board, this board does not have an amplifier for the sound. So you have to go into the um, into RetroPie or MAME or whatever and you'd have to adjust the sound but uh, and I don't think uh, a Raspberry Pi or a single board computer would have enough power to to amplify a sound sp speaker you know for a really good speaker so you would have to get an amplifier amplifier for that and I will discuss that in the next video but for this this is a really simple setup for the controls um, it's it's very easy to do I think anybody should be able to do it it's just plug and play basically and, and then you just plug it into your computer and it should just work just like a USB controller okay anyways thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS1979